What is going on guys, it's Modern Dwarf here. Welcome back to another PS4 and PS5 news update. We're now into the second week since the Flow's disclosure on Hacker One, where he disclosed his Java Blu-ray Drive Sandbox Escape, which is essentially a user land exploit. Now I have already gone over this in detail, so I will link that video down in the video description and in the cards in the top right hand corner if you want to learn all about that exploit disclosure. But in this video, I want to cover some of the updates that have been made so far, some of the kind of progress updates on actually implementing this jailbreak. So there's been quite a few things that have been revealed. We finally have something tangible, something that we can actually run on our PS4s at the moment that uses the exploit. We can actually run an FTP server and access the hard drive. And this should also work on 9.03 and 9.04 uh, because it's only using the user land portion of the exploit. It doesn't require a kernel exploit to use these payloads. So we can actually run FTP on the PS4, which is pretty awesome. So we finally have something that is usable. But let's walk things back a little bit and show you guys what's come out so far. So firstly, we had the man, the myth, the legend, Slayers Gorvi, who came out of hibernation to give us a working implementation of the Blu-ray drive jailbreak. However, this does not include the kernel exploit portion. So it's only the user land part of the exploit. So it's not a full jailbreak by any means, just the user land portion. So he released this, which is a ISO image here that you can write onto a Blu-ray disc and use that to exploit the system. The way that his implementation works at the moment is that it listens for a payload and you can send the payload over your network from your computer and execute it on the PS4. And there have been some test payloads that have already been made and we'll go over those. Uh, of course, the FTP one being the big one, which actually works something usable uh, using this exploit. But uh, of course, this doesn't work with DVDs. It is only working with Blu-ray discs. And I would recommend using the BD-RE discs, the rewritable discs, so that if you are going to you know, do any of these tests, then you can use the same disc over and over again and write new ISO images to the same disc instead of wasting them. Uh, so it's preferred to use the rewritable discs. But uh, anyway, so the way that we do this, I've downloaded the ISO image to my computer. And then of course you need to download image burn to write the image file to the disk. So you just download the image burn. I recommend mirror seven, which is provided by image burn themselves. You just install that onto your computer and then we can run image burn here, insert your Blu-ray disk into your Blu-ray burner and then go to write image file to disk. And then we can select here to browse for a image file. So click that button to browse for a file. And then I'm gonna select the BD jailbreak ISO. I'm going to open that up. You can see there NetBSD user land exploit right there. And you can see here current profile. So the disk that I've got inserted is a Blu-ray rewritable disk. So we can go ahead and click write image file to disk. So the disk is not empty. I've already got something already written to this disk, but I will overwrite it because it is a rewritable disk. So I can do that. So this is only a few megabytes, so it doesn't take long to actually write this to the Blu-ray disk. And there we go. Operation completed. So that is it. We now have got that written to the disk. We can see right here, there's the BD-RE drive and it's got the exploit written to it. So we can now eject that disk and put it into our PS4. Now, most of these exploit tests have been made for the PS4, not the PS5. Now, there is one that does work on PS5, but it's not an actual payload or anything you can really run. It just shows the exploit steps. Uh, that was sort of released by, I think, PSX Dev. And then it was sort of fixed and re-released by uh, Zeko Shell on Twitter. So we can take a look at that because that one does run on both the PS4 and the PS5. But the proper payload tests and this particular image, this BD jailbreak, the one provided by Slayers Gorvi, seems to only target the PS4 because when you try it on PS5, you cannot inject any payloads. It doesn't seem to be working. But so it does seem to be targeting just the PS4. But uh, yeah, anyway, we insert the disc into our PS4 here. Now, yes, this is my 9.00 PS4, uh, but this should work on 9.03 and 9.04 since it's just the user land portion of the exploit. I'm not utilizing any kernel exploit. I'm not running any uh, exploit on the PS4 right now. So there's no gold hen running. I haven't run the normal jailbreak. So we're just doing this through the Blu-ray disc. So we're going to go ahead and run the Blu-ray disc right here. And what you'll notice is nothing pops up. I can hit triangle. You can see that the disk is running, but there's it's just a black screen. So here's a few of the test payloads that have been released. So if we open up Netcat GUI, 
which of course is just a basic payload injector. We enter the IP address of our PS4 and the port number must be 9019. And then if I open up the payloads here, and I got all the payloads here from Zeko Shao on Twitter or Control Execute. And of course, I'll link them all down in the video description if you do want to test any of these yourself. There's a few different payloads. So the first payload that was released was this test payload. So all this does is it essentially prints out hello world to the screen to show that the payload was sent successfully. So here we go. We'll go ahead and inject payload and then wait a few seconds. And there we go. Hello world pops up. So it did successfully inject and execute that payload on the PS4 using the exploit. So that works. That was the first sort of test payload that was revealed. We'll go ahead and uh, close out of the application there and then run it again so we can load a different payload. So we'll go ahead and run the Blu-ray disc again. All right, there we go. Black screen, hit triangle. We can see it there. So the next payload we have that was released is this notification payload, which will actually trigger a notification on the PS4, just like you get whenever you load any kind of payload on the PS4. There's usually that little notification in the top left-hand corner. So this can execute a notification. So if we drag the payload.bin inside, and of course, we'll just see what happens here. So we inject the payload.bin and that injected fine. Nothing pops up initially because we then need to inject the second part, which is the elf file. So you inject the bin file first and then you inject the elf file. So we'll drag the elf file in, payload.elf. And then all we're going to do is hit inject payload. And that's the elf file injected. And then we just wait. It's interesting. This takes a while to execute to this particular payload. I think it's the same with uh, the FTP server as well. Uh, whenever it's like a, a bin file, then an elf file, it seems to take a while to execute, but it will eventually work. Yep, there we go. Hello world, greetings from BD Jailbreak. So that took quite a while to execute, but it did eventually execute successfully. So there we go. So those are the two tests that have been released so far. Okay, so lastly, we have an actual FTP server that we can run on the PS4. So let's go ahead and run the Blu-ray disc again and wait for that to load up. We'll just hit triangle to make sure that that is fully loaded. And then we'll go ahead and use the FTP server. So we can extract the zip file right here. And there we go. So we'll get, again, we have the two payloads. We have the payload.bin and the elf file. So it works the same way as the notification test payload. So once again, we'll run netcat and we'll go ahead and drag the payload inside and then click inject payload and it says done. And then we'll grab the elf file and drag that in and inject that payload. And then we just wait for it to actually initialize because it can take a while for it to actually uh, run as we saw with the notification payload. And I cut out quite a bit of time there. So it did take quite a while for it to actually initialize, but we'll go ahead and get ready by opening up FileZilla. So we'll enter the IP address of our PS4 and port number 1337. So again, this is still a test payload. So even though this can work and allow you to access the file system of the PS4, even on say 9.03 or 9.04, I wouldn't say it's really ready for the end user. There's still some issues with it. Hopefully we've given it enough time here to load. So let's go ahead and quick connect. And there you go. As you can see, it actually works. We have successfully connected to the PS4 over the network just using this user land exploit without a kernel exploit. And we have access to the file system. Now you may notice that this looks very different to the same kind of files and folders that pop up when you connect when using like a 9.00 jailbreak FTP payload or gold hen FTP. And that again is because the fact that we don't have a kernel exploit and you know, this is still early stages. We don't have access to the full file system. We don't have access to everything on the hard drive, just some basic stuff that we can get access to. But I mean, it is working. You can access parts of your file system here by using this payload and the temp folder can't access that. But yeah, so not a hell of a lot of stuff you can access at the moment. But again, hopefully this will get better. There are going to be limitations since this isn't chained with a kernel exploit but that is some actual practical use of this exploit. You can actually load an FTP server on it 
and access part of your file system. You can see where this is going. You can see how things have been improving, starting off with a few basic tests and then getting a working FTP server running through the Blu-ray drive exploit. So that is where we are at the moment. That is the latest thing that's out at the time of recording this video. So that's all the main payloads that have been released thus far. You have the, the welcome message, the hello world message, then you have the notification, then you have the FTP, actual, actual working FTP server on the PS4 uh, that will work on 9.03 and 9.04 with just the user land exploit, which is very impressive. Now, the other ISO image that was released that allows you to test on the PS4 and the PS5, I'll show you guys that. I've already burned it to a disk. So that one in particular uh, is this one here, the sample.iso. And I believe the original version of this came from PSX dev and then it was sort of fixed because it had an error or something in it that was not allowing it to you know, work properly on PS5. But that appears to have been resolved. So I've already burned a disk of this. So we'll go ahead and insert that disk into the PS4 and then I'll also show you it on the PS5 as well. Okay, so I've popped in the Blu-ray disk that has the sample.iso on. So this one doesn't actually execute any payloads that you send to it. Instead, what it does is it just uh, kind of prints out the information of the exploit as it's running, like each step of the exploit, uh, so that you can kind of test on higher firmwares and see where it might be patched. But anyway, if we run the Blu-ray disk and just wait a few seconds, it, will, it doesn't take long to pop up this particular one. And yeah, you can see it just prints out all the information of the actual exploit as it's running and the various things it's accessing. So that's all shown right there and that works fine on the PS4. This is a 9.00 PS4 again. So let's go ahead and switch over to the PS5. Okay, so here we are on the PS5. I'm going to head to media. We've got the disc showing up right there. So we'll play Blu-ray disc. And as you can see, it loads perfectly fine. It actually loads up a lot faster on PS5 than it does on PS4. So it's just there immediately. And again, all the same files and everything being accessed. So showing the actual exploitation uh, on screen there. And yeah, there doesn't seem to be an issue. Now, the weird thing about this is I am on firmware version 5.00. If I head into, uh, where are we? System, console information. You can see this PS5 is on 05.00 which is supposed to have patched the exploit but perhaps this exploit only takes advantage of a few of the vulnerabilities uh, that were in the disclosure and not the one that's actually required to chain it with a kernel exploit to get the full jailbreak uh, which is probably why the flow said it was patched in 5.00 because there's also people who have ran this on 5.01 or something and or 5.1 and still it works so it's interesting, but you probably can't really do anything with it on 5.00. So that's what we've got so far. We've got the Blu-ray drive jailbreak ISO from Slayers Gorvi, which was later updated to a better optimized version by Slayers Gorvi not so long ago. But again, it still does the same thing. So it just listens for a payload and you can send a payload over your network. There's been a few payloads that were released, um, some test payloads like the Hello World payload and the notification payload. Um, and now a working FTP server, something actually useful that you can run on your PS4, which is really awesome. And it really shows the kind of capabilities of just the user land exploit on its own, being able to do these things. So that's really awesome. That's some good progress that's been made so far. And of course, we also got the sample ISO, the one that um, I believe PSX dev initially released and then was updated by Zekoshal again. And of course, that particular one actually can be loaded on the PS4 and the PS5, but it doesn't listen for a payload. It just kind of shows you, uh, just kind of prints out to the to the screen uh, the actual exploit uh, steps that are going on. So that's all that does, it seems. So in terms of what we can expect to see in the next week or so, hopefully we'll see things like maybe the current jailbreak for 9.00, the current kernel exploit might get chained with this Blu-ray drive exploit so that you can just insert a Blu-ray disc and jailbreak the PS4 on 9.00 that way instead of going through the WebKit. Now, is that better than using the WebKit? Maybe not, but it would just be an interesting thing to get working just to, you know, as a proof of concept to show that it works. And then something similar could be tried on the PS5 in future. And I also think we'll just see more user land stuff as well and more developments just seeing how far they can push just the user land exploit on its own on the ps4 to see what's possible 
So obviously I'll keep you guys updated. If there's just a few small things that come out, I'm not going to make, you know, videos on those on their own. But, you know, we can compile everything into weekly updates and just give you guys a weekly update on the developments that are going on. I'll do that every week, of course. However, if there's something big, something major that comes out that is just too big to ignore, then obviously I will cover that and I'll make a video for you guys. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.